Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarek, and welcome to our free to play series in Last Dinner at Survival. So today we'll do something big, something huge, we will finally start raiding here on this account. And I know that some people are confused on how raids work in this game, so let me quickly explain to you. So in order to start raiding in Last Dinner at Survival, you have to be level 150, and even though we are just level 50, we can already raid. Because whenever you start Last Dinner at Survival, you have a few bases around you. For example, we have one base over here, we have one base here. Once we unlock this Northern Watchtower, we'll be able to have a base around this place. And then if I'm not mistaken, we have one more base close to this bunker alpha. And once we raid these bases, these bases will disappear. And then we'll have to reach level 150. And then you can start calling the raiders on the radio. You'll have to do their tasks. And then you can do normal real raids. But these are like some sort of training wheels raids. So <laughs> let's raid them. So first things first, let's get rid of this armor because we won't need it. As you need armor when you raid normal raids, as during those normal raids, when you open up boxes, you make noise. And that that noise attracts zombies. But during these basic raids that we are about to do, there will be no zombies. So basically, we'll just get free loot. And before we go there, I'd love to take some wood and some stones. Let's take that. This way, we'll be able to craft the hatchets. And we've played on this account during some past seasons, and we already have here 10 iron hatchets. You can also craft these iron hatchets. They're pretty easy to craft. All you need is just some iron, some common planks, nails, and duct tape. So hey, let's begin our adventure. We're gonna go here. This will be the first base that we raid, but if I'm not mistaken, we should be able to raid all of the bases here around us. As we have enough hatchets for that. It's kind of weird, but I don't really remember what kind of loot we can get here as I've raided these bases about maybe half a year ago to a year ago, but I've already forgotten. So hey, let's start chopping the stuff up here. Let's start opening up the walls. So during these basic raids, you can actually craft hatchets. Check this out. We can craft one hatchet and it's not making any noise as during normal raids, you cannot craft anything as that stuff makes noise. Okay, so let's open up one wall over here and let's see what's hiding behind that wall. We'll definitely open up those other walls, but before we do that, let's start looting the choppers. And I remember the first time when I've played last night at survival, I thought I'll be able to steal this chopper, but hey, you cannot steal the chopper here. It's just standing here. You can't take it, but I can't be the only one that thought you can steal that chopper. Okay, now let's see what this pickup truck is going to offer. Does it offer like leather? No, it offers nothing. I thought we'll get something nice. Okay, whatever. Let's open up this door over here. Maybe this raid has an ATV. I think up here, there should be an ATV. So I also remember for the first time when I saw that ATV, I was very excited because I thought maybe you can steal ATV transmissions or something. Because when the game came out, we did not have ATV transmissions. We did not have ATV in the game. So it was kind of fun to see an ATV transmission here. Okay, we've opened up another wall. Do we just go through the door? Wait, maybe let's not go through that door. I'm gonna open up this level one wall. This way we get to save our level two hatchet. And wait, for one wall, are we using an entire level one hatchet? Level two hatchet? Maybe. I know in any case, we are using lots of hatchets here. That's what I know. Oh, no, no, no. Don't use that one. I'm an idiot. I just wasted it. I wasted it. Unbelievable. Whatever, let's craft these level one hatchets and let's try to save that level two hatchet for level two walls. All right, do we have anything useful? Nope. And a C4 explosive required. Well, I'm sure this axe is gonna break and I won't be able to open up the door here. Oh no, I was able to open it up. There we go, the tool broke, nice. So we have opened up this entire base. There's only one more thing left for us to do. Let's open that stuff up just so we could access those two chests up there. And that is it. We can finally start looting this base. Oh, do we have to destroy this? I think before we could just loot it. Or maybe we always have to destroy it. I don't remember. In any case, let's craft here a few more hatchets. It looks like we are out of stones already. Maybe this base will have a few more hatchets. I have no idea. So let's perhaps open up that chest over here. That's where we have started from. And let's see if we get anything useful. So we have gotten a little bit of armor, some of these melee weapons. We absolutely don't need that spear, so I'm not taking the spear. But I will take this golf club. It will be useful in wall tricking at Bunker Alpha. And that's it. We are out of tools. Maybe we have some resources here. Yes, we still have some common wood and some limestones. Let's take that so we can craft some more hatchets. Very, very lovely. And what do we have here in this chest? Okay, so some first aid kits, some carrots. I will take some berries. I don't think I'm taking anything else here. You can bring these mobile phones back to the base. You can recycle them to get electronic circuits, but we don't really need them right now here on this account. So I'm not going to take that. I just want to save my storage for something better. And hey, let's craft, like, two more hatchets. There we go. What do we have here? A broken Glock. I'll take that. I'll take the aluminum wires. I will take those springs. Later on, you will have lots of springs, but at the very beginning of the game, I will probably take them. We can also take this paddle. It's kind of broken. It's useless, but you can use that paddle to wall trick in Bunker Alpha. For now, I'll take more resources. And maybe I'll bring some stuff back to the base and I'll come back here again. But at the same time, there's a lot of garbage. 
that I don't even know if I want to bring everything. Like, for example, this broken helmet. Like, it's just pointless to take it with me. And these pants. You know what I'll do? I'll probably just take these pants and I'll drop these pants over here. Because even on the free-to-play account, this is kind of pointless. I know that we could probably upgrade those pants. And check this out. We could craft these reinforced trousers, but it's not really worth it. I'd just rather go and clear Bunker Alpha and we will get enough armor through that. So taking broken armor is not worth it. Oh, we've gotten some wood. That's just what the doctor ordered. Let's get that. Let's get some duct tape. And we have gotten a bunch of broken melee weapons. Hmm. Wait, I'll eat some berries. I'll get those berries in the extra pocket. I will take these broken melee weapons. You know what? Those melee weapons might be useful. I'm gonna craft some more hatchets because we are running out of them. Okay, what do we have here? More wood. We've gotten some random things that I don't think we really need. So for now, I'm just gonna leave those items here. Maybe I'll come back later and I'll take that. But I really doubt it. Like, that's not really useful. And we have here, wait, three more chests. There's one more chest over here. Hopefully I don't miss any chests because it is possible <laughs> for me to leave some chests behind. That wouldn't be the first time. Okay, bolts. So I don't need anything else here. The scrap metal is kind of decent though. But uh, okay, so I'm going to get more stuff once we chop down both of these chests. This way I will get rid of my hatchets and I'll have more space in the inventory. Let's destroy this chest. Let's destroy this chest over here. Oh no, the hatchet just broke. Okay, let's destroy that. And perhaps we can destroy this furnace. There we go. We can get some meat. What do we have here? Some iron and... Here we have some pickaxes, which kind of don't matter. I'm not even going to take those pickaxes with me. I'm going to get rid of some things that we totally don't need. And you could probably go back to the base and come back here and raid this base fully, but we have a bunch of other bases to raid. I won't have here enough energy to travel to this base twice and raid the other bases, so I'm just going to take the most valuable loot. So I think I've taken everything there is to take. Wait, except I'm going to destroy this thing. Was there anything? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Even though it looked like it was empty, but we had some meat on that meat dryer. So now we can get that leather. And hey, this is is what I'm taking. I dropped that aluminum bar. Doesn't really matter. So this was raid number one, and I already feel like we have gotten a decent amount of items here. A lot of them is just junk. Oh, there's one more chest. I haven't looted everything. I know that I've almost missed that chest, and I'm sure some of you were already screaming. Well, I've just crafted one more hatchet, and let's open up this chest over here. Let's see. I don't want to miss it. I've almost missed it. What do we have here? Some more wood, some more stones. That's okay. That's all right. So hey, this is what I ended up taking. This is the loot that we've gotten from this base. And yeah, this base gets my approval for the raid that basically didn't require anything. All you had to do here is just use a few hatchets. It was definitely worth it. We have gotten this full durability shovel. We have gotten this full durability makeshift bat, some broken melee weapons. And again, that's not perfect. But as I said, this stuff is basically free. So I like it. And check this out. As soon as we leave this base, we have 12 hours to take the rest of the loot from this base. Otherwise, it will despawn and that that's it. You'll never be able to reload that place again. Okay, so we kind of ran out of space in the base to store these melee weapons. So how about we craft one more chest? We have here some grass. We have some wood. So let's perhaps place here two more boxes. While we're at it, we might as well just place more boxes, more than just one. There we go. Now we have more space. So inside of this other box, I'll be storing even more melee weapons. And hey, I know that the loot that we've gotten in the first base might have not really looked that great. But here for a level 50 character, it's pretty decent. Plus, if you have never raided any bases before, I think it's kind of fun to go and raid them. And it would be cool if we would get a random base like that once in a while. Because I think raids are a huge part in Last and Earth Survival. And it's kind of sad that you have to reach level 150 to do more raids. Plus, those other raids are a bit more dangerous. So I wish maybe we had more raids like that more people would appreciate them i don't know in any case let's get here a hatchet let's open up this wall and i always wonder like why don't i just crawl through that window it is possible <laughs> it should be possible to crawl through that window that's it the hatchet just broke let's get one more hatchet and let's try to destroy this door and uh, wait this base is probably a lot smaller there we go that tool was broken we have here one more chest i should have just probably went here through level one walls and I didn't know that those are level one walls. And wait, there's something else here. Ooh, okay. There's another base here because I knew that this base is a little bit bigger. I knew that we are supposed to have here something else. Okay, I'm sure we have some more level one tools. So we'll destroy the wall over here. The problem will be having enough hatchets because I'm running out of these level one hatchets. I'm running out of stones and woods. But hey, luckily we still have 20 of those ready meals so we'll be able to use them. I have no idea where I've gotten that stuff either from season passes or maybe you get them when you begin the game. So we can go outside and we can auto clear a few green zones. And I guess now we are ready to open up these chests. Wait, before we do that though, I want to open up this door as there are also these two furnaces and those two furnaces can have something nice as well. Okay, so I think we can start destroying this 
There we go. Let's open up these furnaces. And we don't even get these kind of nice bases during like normal and legit raids because here this base is kind of big. It's interesting to raid. And most of the bases that we have to raid during like legit raids are just like a simple three by three stone base. You place a C4 and you get one chest inside and that's it. So most of the raids, most of the legit raids are bad. And not even like loot wise, but just like raiding interest wise, they're kind of bad. It's much more fun to raid this base here as check this out. There are a bunch of like level one, level two walls. It's interesting to open up some doors. I don't know. I like it. So I think it's not going to be enough hatchets. Let's craft a few more and let's start opening up all of these chests and let's see what kind of goods we can find here. Like what I'd love to find is some more iron and more melee weapons. That's what I need to clear bunker alpha. Okay. We're going to get here some pieces of cloth. We'll be able to craft bandages with that. Let's get nails. We could get rope, but we already have a lot of rope in the base. We have a chest. We have that small box. We could steal it. I don't know. I'm going to take the empty cans. If we get something better, I will get rid of those empty cans, but I'd love to take them for now. I'll be able to recycle them and get scrap metal, and then I can smell that scrap metal into metal. We have gotten 10 seeds. That means we've just gotten here 20 carrots, an entire stack of carrots. That is lovely. Let's get that. Let's get this yellow coupon. We could get more of that bauxite, but I don't know if I want it. Honestly, I regret taking that five bauxite from the other base. It's just stupid. I don't need that bauxite. I'm never going to smelt it. Let's get the duct tape, and I think we have a few more things to open up. First of all, we have this cooking thing. We have gotten some juicy steaks. Let's add them here. And, uh, oh, we'll have some more juicy steaks here. Okay, that's lovely. Let's open it up. Oh, no, these are not juicy steaks. I obviously, we don't get juicy steaks there. We just get jerky. So let's get that. We can loot probably gardens. I don't think the other base had gardens. Or maybe did. I just forgot to loot them. I'm, I might have forgotten to loot the gardens in the other base. I don't remember. This is so awesome. This is huge. We are getting a decent amount of seeds here. Uh, this one didn't have any seeds. So we've gotten almost two stacks of carrots here and plus some food. So in my opinion, it's already worth it. This base is already a banger and we are almost out of hatchets and we don't have enough stones. Well, hopefully I have some more stones in the inbox here. Please, pretty please. Yes, we do have 20 stones. That's it. These are the last stones. Then I'll seriously have to auto clear some more stuff. Let's craft here two more hatchets. And let's see. What can we get inside of this base, inside of this other room? We've gotten some broken armor, whatever, I'll take it. I, seriously, I don't even want to bring that stuff to the base. It just wastes space. I mean, it's nice to go maybe and farm some wood with this armor, but I try to farm as less as possible in this game as it's pretty boring, and I like to play last in Earth Survival, clearing different locations. Like, I'd rather maybe go and clear the motel rather than farm wood, because I think everybody can agree that farming is boring, so I try to play the game with as less farm as possible, because, and farming is also pretty easy. I don't need to teach you how to farm. You just get a hatchet and you go outside and you farm wood. Everybody can farm. So hey, let's open up this chest. We've gotten some more healing items. That is lovely. To get more space now, I will craft some more bandages because we have 20 of those pieces of cloth. So I can just combine that cloth with bandages here. There we go. And we have three, four more chests, right? Let's open them up. And then let's get that out from here. We've gotten a weapon crate. Let's open it up. We have gotten here a Glock. Say, this raid was a lot better than the previous one. You know what? This raid is even better than main legit raids that you can get. Like, I'm, I'm seriously telling you that. This raid is pretty good. Obviously, if you're max level in this game, maybe it's not going to be worth your time. Maybe it's not, like, the best raid ever. But if you're a newcomer, and not even a newcomer, like, if you're a mid-level player, eh, this raid is good. Okay, let's get here a Glock. This way we'll have more space. Let's craft another hatchet. And I think we can open up the rest of these chests now and we can go home safely and engine part. I will try to get it. But before we do that, let's get rid of these hatchets. There we go. We just broke two hatchets. Let's get a Glock, a Katana. Plus, we have this full durability hockey stick that I want to take. One yellow coupon is not really worth it. We can just get them from Bunker Alpha. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'll take this engine part instead of wood. And there we go. I think I have taken everything there is to take from this base. I'll take the yellow coupon for the stones, whatever. There we go. That's it. We've just raided this base. And you know what? It was also amazing. It was a lot better than the previous one. We have gotten here some guns, some full durability weapons. We have gotten a bunch of seeds, some iron. It's great. And that's not it. I think we have some more things to raid in this base. As we do have here this pickup truck. And it might have something... Maybe, or maybe it'll be just empty. It was just empty. And hey, while we're at the base, let's start growing these carrots because I really love that. We just got in two stacks of food without farming. That's amazing. <laughs> that is awesome. And then we are ready to go for one more raid. But before we do that, we'll have to do some auto clearing. All right, so let's auto clear the pine bushes. Uh, I don't know, maybe let's auto clear them twice. We have gotten here 100 wood. That's amazing. 
and we can auto clear now the limestone ridge a few times there we go let's get some stones over over here i thought i clicked the wrong button there but hey, let's auto clear that and boom, we have gotten a lot of resources and we still have 12 here. Ready meals, happy meals, whatever you want to call them. And that is it. We have raided both of these bases and there we go. We have this third base over here. Let's go for it. And I think we might have just leveled up. So let's see what we've gotten. Another bruiser. Okay, that's fine. We still don't have an extra pocket. It would be nice to get an extra pocket. All right, and welcome to the third base here. Oh, wow, it is big. I totally don't remember it. I don't remember this base being this big. Okay. Okay, maybe let's just start from over here. Let's check this pickup truck. The previous two pickup trucks were empty. Well, the third one was empty as well. I think we should craft now a few hatchets. We have more loot now in our inbox. So, hey, let's open that stuff up. Let's open up another wall over here. And let's see what kind of goodies this base has to offer for us. Oh, another garden going. Please, a stack of seeds. That would be amazing. 14 carrots, not that bad. That's basically seven seeds, but hey, I'll take it. Let's go to the inbox. Let's probably get a little bit of limestone. There we go. Let's craft now a few more hatchets. Uh, you know what? Probably three for now is going to be enough. Maybe I crafted too many hatchets. But I think this base is actually going to have lots of chests, so we will use up all of these hatchets easy. Let's get the bolts, the duct tape. We could take those transistors, but I don't think we need them. Not at least now. Okay, some more resources. I love that. We could take those three bricks, but you know what? For now, I'll take them. But once we get something better, I will get rid of those bricks. Wait, and there's one more chest in this room. And plus there is this thing. Wait, we will destroy everything. I will get the planks. I will destroy this furnace. We will get some more iron, some more wood. That's good. That's what the doctor ordered. We have got an, a hat. Actually, a full durability hat. Full durability shoes. That's good. That's not bad. Okay, let's craft a few more hatchets. Let's be here. And now I'm stinking. Well, let's get back to work. We have gotten some more stones, some more resources. So, hey, I don't mind this base. It's great. Whenever we get resources, I don't mind that. It's better than getting nothing, right? So, let's get whatever we get here. A machete. I will equip that. Let's equip the paints. We have these boots that I could bring back to the base. But chances are I'll just drop them here. Because even when there are swat boots, it doesn't really matter. They're broken boots. So, I'd rather have, like, probably full durability sneakers than these broken swat boots. They are a lot better. Okay, so we just need now... Uh, one iron hatchet and I think we can open up this wall. Okay, so show me show me the secrets What are you hiding? Okay, so this base was hiding two more chests. How about I destroy this thingy? Uh, just two charcoal not that good pretty trash to be honest. Okay, do we have anything the tool was broken a broken melee weapon I will get it a green ticket. I'll get it and wait. I think that is it I don't think there's anything else this base has to offer so we have gotten some resources not too shabby. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. That's all we've gotten from this base. So this base wasn't as great as previous ones, but it's still not that bad. We have gotten some resources and you can never go wrong with the resources. Wait, I want to see if we get anything useful here. Well, just water, whatever. I'll bring more water to the base, even though we don't need more water. So I've just went back to the base. I've sorted out the inventory and now welcome to the airdrop. One of my favorite locations probably in the game, especially at the very beginning, because you can get here a decent amount of resources. Not only weapons, you do get here some resources. You can also pick up some grass if you want. You can even farm some wood. This place is amazing. Obviously, I'm talking about wood and grass here as like bonus, bonus to the airdrop. Like if you have the time, you can go here and pick up up that grass you'll be able to get some seeds and then you can grow those seeds into carrots okay let's deal with the floater bloaters and also you can even find here some deer and yeah you can get meat you can get leather from the deer it's amazing this place is awesome but hey let's get the main loot let's stop talking about the bonuses and let's actually loot the main crate here so we have gotten a melee weapon we have gotten some stone bricks sometimes we can get planks i'd appreciate those planks but whatever stone bricks are not bad either we have gotten here some coupons so we have raided three bases here we have gotten a decent amount of loot and on top of that we have looted this airdrop and the base is actually so full that i even need to craft more boxes but hey we'll continue here our adventure in the next episode so subscribe to the miss those videos and i highly suggest you check out my dead islands 2 let's play click on the second card and you'll get my resident evil 4 let's play hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely make sure to jump subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep